Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft. Today I had another work, another renovation work at my forest cabin to do. You know the inside is complete but outside there are a few points that I had to repair and where I had to work and I want to start now and I also want to tell you a secret about the cabin. You don't know till yet that I had a secret cellar. Um, where the cellar is and what I want to do with it you know in this video. So if you want stay tuned. I am allowed to collect all the wood that lay around. Um, of course after the storm there is many many dead wood in the ground and the bigger one are my building wood and my firewood. Of course I had to um, to bring it close to the house that it um, can dry and there are a lot of those small branches and I don't want that they lay at the wall area around. So I make this wall here. It looks nicer like this and it is a home for many wild animals. Beside of the cabin there is those, this wall here. This is from a tree that fall uh, down with the roofs and the children can play there. You see there is only the naked earth, the naked ground, no moss on top because uh, when it is wet and they, they run over it a few times then it looks like this. But here it is okay. In the other area I don't want that it looks like this. And here in the background you can see um, the primitive shelter that I built for the children. I only want to, um, to, to collect there my, my building wood and I, I lay it a little bit in the air that it doesn't get wet and um, rotten. And after the storm so many branches with needles lay around and I only cover it now with these branches and um, so they had a small primitive shelter but um, they love this place here they can play alone and um, yeah <laughs> they had fun there. Stimmt's? Yeah. Dein Shelter. Ich hab Kiefern, Zapfen gesammelt, die werde ich dann in unserer Waldhütte irgendwo als Dekoration aufstellen. Für mm. die. Mm. Ich auch den Stellen. Mm. Today it is the first overnight of the children. So they saw the video um, with me and Zap together the first night here and of course they are also happy that today is the first day they can sleep outside and they see what we cook and they want to have cook exactly the same because it looks so tasty so and um, I think it will be a very good time here oder wenn wir eine schöne Zeit haben yeah. und Spaß haben yeah. okay und meine ganzen und ich habe jetzt viel mehr mm -hmm. Some of these points here from the roof are broken and this is because um, this is why the, the roof is rotten in some parts because here had the water an easy way to come in. The first part of the roof is clean, the mosses um, at the ground and the needles and yeah, now I can see the rotten part of the roof. It looks, um, it looks better than I thought. I put now the moss at the wall so it can grow there 
uh, longer. It is the moss from the roof. And when it is dry, the children can lay up there and lay in the sun. Maybe they want to do it. At this side of the roof there is a lot more uh, moss and some big branches and yeah a little bit is uh, broken so when the roof is repaired inside I had to change some parts here um, they are broken like this up there and then I hope it is fixed again. The sun is away now and it is getting cold now but I'm very happy that I had the roof clean now it was it is easier than I thought but I found some bad points um, here a, a few parts like this are broken and when now the rainy season begins in April um, I'm sure that it could be that the rain come direct inside to the cabin because the moss had a lot of water inside and when the rain comes comes here at the moss at the roof at first the moss um, saved the water and now it can go directly inside so I had to repair it very fast but I can't just I can't do this at myself I, I need help there um, at this time I cannot walk through uh, over the roof because I had to repair it first the, the big um, the big wood roof um, inside uh, there is uh, there are two parts that are rotten and I had to repair this at first and then um, the roof holds more weight actually it is too dangerous to walk on it um, yeah, I had to do it very soon. This here is all the moss and the needles that lie at the roof. I make it now directly at this point. And now I'm happy that, that it is done and I go inside because the kids are tired and hungry and we want to eat now. Under this big box there is the secret cellar. In this box I had actually tools and later I will have their food or something else. And here in the underground is the cellar and we take now a look into the cellar.
maybe you ask yourself why I fixed this thing here over the cellar. Um, this has a simple reason. When I came into the cabin the first time, the ground was full with mouse excrements. And I look um, at which point the mouse came inside and outside and it is the cellar. And because of this, the box stand here and in combination with this one, it is fixed. So the mouse can't came inside. And now I'm wondering how it looks inside of the cellar. Because when I look um, two weeks ago, the last time into the cellar, there was a bad surprise. Um, and now I'm wondering how it looks today. The bad surprise that I had the last time opening the cellar isn't there anymore, but um, the, the tracks from it are also there. And now we look inside what is the reason for the bad surprise. There it is, the secret cellar. It is not the biggest one, but hey, I had a cellar into my cabin. This is just great. They used it in the past for cooling their beer. So they had it full with beer bottles that they had also in the summer times on um, cool beer. You know I don't drink alcohol only sometimes but I had some beer here for my guest and of course normal drinks um, non-alcoholic and of course I can cool it there also um, but there is a problem the last time as I opened the cellar there was 30 centimeter water inside so um, the groundwater came here inside because the winter was so wet it rains the whole time and the ground is wet and so the groundwater came into the cellar because there are some broken no, no not really broken parts but there is some small space into um, the cement and I had to close it now that no water can came in, inside in the future and then I can use it but I'm not really sure what to do with this space it is just great that I had there in place I don't know at the moment how cold it is inside and how cold it will be in the summer times but um, I think it is maybe cool enough for um, use it as a fridge for um, cool down my um, my meat and my cheese um, and my drinks. So this is one option what I can do with it. The other option is that I had the tool here for making energy. I think um, generator is the right word and it works with, um, with benzene. It is very loud and um, there came the toxic gas outside. So I can't use it inside a um, closed room. But um, maybe it is an option to, to put it inside of the cellar and make a hole outside with where the toxic gas can go outside in the air. And if I need energy inside for the working process, I can use it here inside. But this is only an option. I'm not really sure at this moment what I should do with this um with the special place so and i also had to close an, an um, difference here between the cellar and the normal level of the cabin because i said before that um, here came the mouse inside and outside and between the cellar and the normal level of the cabin there is such a space and um, this is the entrance for the mouse and I had to close it, that it is complete, um, uh, that, is, that the mouse can't came inside. 
but at first I had to um, I had to care about the problem with the water. You see it here. This is the level. This is the part that came at the the cellar, and it is very rotten now. So when always water came inside there, the whole cabin rotten. The, the wood is rotten. I had to do this very fast. And now I'm very interested what kind of ideas do you have? What um, what will you do with this cellar? For what you will use it? What is your ideas? I'm very interested in your ideas. Maybe you had um, a great idea where I never thought about it. So please write it for me down in the comment. And I'm wondering what kind of ideas do you have? As the next step, the big building part begins. You know, there is the rotten uh, part here at the, the, um, the cabin cover and I had to remove this and fix their new, uh, new wood. And in this time, um, the, when, the, when I fix the new wood, it is not so dark like this one. It is um, more... Uh, a bright brown color and then this color um, is not um, the normal um, wood color so when somewhere walk, walk around he can or, or she can maybe see it and I don't want this so I had the idea to fix and camouflage net at this part of the cabin so in the building part I can um, I can put it together and make it up that I can work here and then when I'm ready um, for working I can um, remove it again down. So in this time nobody can see um, this bright shining part of the cabin. When I go far away from the cabin, nobody can see it now. Um, the camouflage net um, is very helpful. Of course, the roof is also um, inside, but um, this is okay. Um, it is dark. Um, for me, it is only important when I had the building part and I will fix the fresh wood, that the uh, fresh wood doesn't shine so out um, from the cabin into the wood. So um, I'm sure it works. When I work at the wall, I put the net together and fix it up so I can work. And when um, I'm ready for the day, I just let it down again. And so it is very easy, but helpful. So now is also a lot of work done. It is always beautiful when you see such a big effect. So when you know how it looks before and when you see how it looks now and you just can say, wow, the roof without the moss looks so difficult. But there I see there is also again more work than I thought <laughs> like everywhere in the cabin. Um, there are also some um, secrets that I, um, find out later where it's a lot of work but it is okay it is a slowly process and uh, it will be just beautiful when it is finished so like every time i'm very interested what kind of ideas do you have what should i do with the cellar and what ideas do you have what i should build or do at my cabin it is always nice if you write me something and i can do it in the real life so um, thank you for your many many helpful tips and comments and your support you're great thank you so if you want to see us again at the next video have a great time till there bye bye